for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Yeshua answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of Elohim, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Yeshua answered and said unto her, unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, springing up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Yeshua said unto her, Go call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yeshua said, said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. And that sayest thou truly. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worship in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Yeshua said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. We know that we worship. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Elohim is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Those last voices from 20 to 24 was the focus point. I just feel good reading it all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. When we look at the word worship, hallelujah, it means to honor or reverence a divine being of or supernatural power to regard with great or extravagant respect, honor, or devotion, an act of express, expressing such reverence. You see, we, we, when we talk about worship, this is something that we hold in high regard. And sad to know that we worship things without even being aware of it. We worship things. And I saw it. I saw it in our people. One day, I was driving out, going out south, and traffic was traffic was very long. We began to you know, the come off the main road and take the shortcut and join back up on the line way down the road. You know, you duck one big piece of the line. That's what you're really doing. And a brother was in the front of me, nice looking guy. Nice looking guy, I gotta remember exactly what it was. Chrome rings and everything. And I went in the back of him and he we swing through the corner. Then we got down the hill one big bottle of water was there and he just washed the car. You can see she's shiny and everything. And that big bottle of water, he stopped, all breaks. Ah! My soul. God baby, yes. I gotta go. I got him back the long way. My Could you believe it? The brother don't want the car go, go through a little bit of water. The rims can get dirty. Huh? A little bit of dirty. Yes. <laughs> we yeah. worship things. Yes. Yeah. Right. We worship things. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, and a person of importance uses in titles my such my. as magistrate or kings and queens. I grew up hearing about the court.
court system saying, Your Honor, Your Honor. But when I reach in court, the day I step foot in court, I hear them saying, Your worship. Your worship. Hallelujah. And they sit in the judgment of men. They have fault and failure. But people worship them. They worship them. Some take it to the extreme. As if, as if they could perform some miracle. Hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. The Hebrew renders a word. Yada. Hallelujah. Yada. It means to reverence or worship Yahweh. With extended hands to praise, to give praise, to give thanks, to bow down. My, my expression, yes. To fall on the knees before and confess. Yes. You acknowledge how great he is. By the way, that word right there, when Yahweh said, the people who are called by my name, it's not Christians. I hear people talking over and over and over, but I never hear nobody straightening it out. When he say, my people who are called by my name, it is not Christian. Yara. The nation was Yara. His people were the Yadims or a Yadai. Hallelujah. So when Yahweh say, my people who are called by my name, it's a people of praise. It's a people of worship. Right. Hallelujah. That's right. Song, I tell you, the song touched me. Sing like never yet before. Yes. Time for us to worship Hallelujah. like never yet before. Yes, you're right. See, Yahweh has brought us through a Gregorian year. Yes. Hallelujah. No matter what we think or how we feel about the system, Yahweh has control of everything. Yeah. He consults it all. And we have to give thanks because he's doing some stuff. Yes, We've yes. seen it. Yes. We've felt it. Yes. Yes. Seeing it. Yes. So time for us to get along with the program. We can't afford to get left too far behind. I don't want to get left behind. So we got to take our praise and our worship to another level. We got to worship like never yet before. Worship is the key. That's it. Worship is the key. Worshiping. See, I want to worship. See? I am willing to worship. My worship will take me into the very presence of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. Hallelujah. That's something we've been falling down on. You know? time, for, time to restore true worship to the assemblies of Yahweh. Like I said, see, we got to get rid of some stuff. See some stuff holding us back from really being free to worship. Uh. <laughs> A new one, <laughs> bless Yahweh. Many things in our life. For me, it might be a car. For you, it might be a ship. Each one of us carry a different mind and a different weight. Paul said we must put those that put down those things that so easily yes. besets yes. us. And let us run this race that is set before us. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. The scripture teaches us in 2 Chronicles 16 and 9 says for the eyes of Yahweh run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them Hallelujah. whose heart Hallelujah. is perfect towards yes. him. We're talking about true worship. Yes. All your heart is in it. You see, when we, yes. when, when we reach into the, the, the worship, we forget about everything. Yes. Nothing else matters. See, worship is an English word. Worship is an English word. And it comes from worth or worthy. And we know that he's worthy. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be exalted. So we got to praise and worship like never yet before. See, it is him who brought us this far. 
in the civil waters this far. And see, we have to do it the way that Yahweh requires. So in our prayer, we need to pray this prayer. Yahweh, teach me. Teach me how to worship. You know how you want to be worshipped. Teach me in this way that I may worship you in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise Yahweh. Yahweh is awesome. 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 I'm telling you, man. Oh. We got to stop. We, but Yahweh can put some other words in our mouth to express how great he is. Yes. Because the little, yeah. our little sport yeah. vocabulary don't do him justice. Uh, Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. See, we got to stop being rebellion, rebellious in our ways. We got to stop worrying. See, it's time to get down and dirty. You see, it's time to start dirtying up some of these soup. Wearing out some of these, knee, these parts on our knee and our pants. I'm telling you. <laughs> Bless you, how are you? When it comes to worship, You're right. nothing else matters. We forget about those things. Yes. Huh? You get on a nice white suit, dirty that up, frustrate before him, bow down before him, confess your sins, give him thanks. Let it get dirty. You think you get it off your own anyhow? It is he who provided. So if he provided, and he brought me this far, I can afford to tell you that. Yes. He can replace it with many more. Yes. So it's time that we bow with our hearts. Ah, that's it, brother. Our hearts must bow before him. See, when our heart bow before him, we're going to accomplish some yes. stuff. Yes. See, we get near. We in it. Nothing else matters. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You ever see how the, the celebrities get worship? Oh boy. Celebrities get worship. And the things I see, the fans do for celebrity. Hallelujah. If Yahweh's people can do this for him. I saw a young lady. They was commercial, you know. They were speaking but on the news. The young lady, she went and she tattooed. Drake's name in her forehead. Everybody asks if she lost her mind. I believe she did. A big tattoo. Drake in her forehead. The brother don't even know her. The brother don't even know her. Worship. That's worship. When they go to a concert, I hear someone speak about Michael Jackson. When Michael Jackson used to go out concert and people come there, and he ain't the cell jumping up and down, yeah, hey, hey, Michael, Michael. It's when he leaves, when he go, that one who run to the shop, he buy all the outfit, every glove, everything, and he dress up like Michael, and he, huh? Be the thing, man, while Michael ain't around. That's worship. Worship. Worship is the key. Hallelujah. You could imagine we behaving in such a manner for Uncle Yeo. That's right. Talk about it. Talk about it. Time to praise and worship like never yet before. Yay. Sing. <laughs> I get emotional. That's okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless Yahweh. Praise His holy name. Amen. Say, Yahweh, I search you to and fro throughout the night. This is something he's looking for. He's looking for true worship. So what are we going to do about it? Continue to hard step? It is time that we fall on our knees, confess, give thanks, sing praises with every breath that we take. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. You know, I was looking at this this last Sabbath, last Sabbath brochure. I don't know if anybody still have one. But I please keep them on. Say, in 2015, what will it be next year? 
Hanukkah or Christmas? That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Turn the kick these Easter them and teens and these Christmas them to the grave. We don't learn that our fathers has inherited lies. But Yahweh says, stand in the road and search for the old path and ask where is the righteous way and walk therein. The righteous way is worship. Worship. See, when we begin to worship Yahweh, we're going to obey Him. We're going to obey Him. And if, see, we need a reference for our Creator. Hallelujah. 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 See, if we don't have a reverence for our Creator, we ain't gonna be able to worship Him. So we have to have a reverence for Him. We have to have that fear of who He is, knowing that He is a consuming fire. He speaks things in the being. Hallelujah. 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 There are consequences for being disobedient. When Yahweh put you in a place and he desires worship, he leads you into worship. Hallelujah. See, some of us, Hallelujah. some of us, Yahweh got to come down and say to us face to face, I want you to do this. You don't get all the signs, say all the words, and we still ain't figuring out yet. Something is wrong with that picture. Something wrong with that picture. Yes. If he gives you his word, yes. he sent a prophet. Yes. The prof the man who stood in his council and delivered his word to you. Hallelujah. And you couldn't accept that. What make you think you can accept anything else? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. When we look back. In the whole covenant, and we see how Yahweh deal with Saul in the book of Samuel, first Samuel, I think, first Samuel chapter 15. Just let's go there and run through a few a few voices. First Samuel. Now this is a mission Father Yahweh instructed the prophet and tell the prophet to give Saul his assignment what he must go with, what he must do. Saul went on the, on the mission. See, we cannot do it halfway. We cannot do peace and then pick up something else and say, this part here for me. Some things are just devoted to destruction by Yahweh's command. That's right. So we can't do half of what he commands us to do right. and pick up a little piece and say it's okay because it's not okay. Hallelujah. Saul, 
Not when people say you was nobody. Not when people say you ain't had nothing. But when you yourself was little in your own eyes. When you, that's right. When you go up feeling like a nobody. Yahweh will take you and carry you to the top. Yes. yes. Make you king. Yes. He'll take you and carry you to the top. Preach. And what you do? Instead of worshiping him, my, my. you just obey. You be impartial in what he commands you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go down to the 22nd verse. And Samuel said, Had Yahweh as great delight and burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of Yahweh. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because, because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he hath also rejected thee. From being king. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You see, we don't have time to be rebellious in our walk. We don't have time to be stubborn against his word. See, Yahweh's people was always has always been rebellious and stubborn and stiff necked. Even from the master's table. Eating manna from heaven. Still rebellious. Still looking for more. You're getting the best. You're eating the best. But still you desire more. And the more what you desire is what can hurt you. Yahweh said to be rebellious. To be rebellious is as the sin of witchcraft. And to be stubborn is as iniquity and idolatry. And that's a problem we have in our nation today, idolatry. Our people just finished celebrating the biggest idolatry in the history of our nation. That's right. And they're so content with it, nobody can tell them anything about it. But I'm pointing out to one and do, you know. I'm talking to one and do. He will get it. Make it, make it clear. I go wake up, right? He, he, he say he ain't never take the Christmas tree out of the house. Well, I talked to a young lady just Monday, and I tell her, I say, listen, yeah, let me tell you something. Girl. I say, they've been celebrating this Christmas before the Savior born, yeah? Before the Savior come on, right? They've been celebrating this thing, and you think that, you think that Christmas tree with your, that's a joke. Them nigga used to decorate it with all gold and silver. People out there, some people, she tell me she got to visit us one day's days. Every time she comes to work the car about, I ski her a nice belly for her. She says she got she says she can visit us one day's days for a <laughs> Oh bless Yahweh. This is what this is a form of worship. Yes. She we gotta exalt him before our people. We gotta make his known his name known. Magnify his name yes. in the midst of the heathen. See, worship come in many forms, but we got to give it all we have. A brother, a brother stepped here this morning and I asked the wife what he wanted. I was praying. See, he got the check, he got the check profit for, the, for something from the food bank. All that is a part of worship. All that is a part of worship. See, we need this whole life prosperity. Whole life. Given our whole heart. See, back in the days when David asked for suitable warriors, he was told that he has some good warriors. Men who know how to do battle. Men who could shoot a bow and arrow with the left hand and the right hand. They could shoot with any hand just as good. Just the way we need to be. Oh boy. We need to operate and ask Yahweh to lead us in every step of our life. See, we got to totally be dependent on Him. 
Yahweh no who has opened his mercy. We have to bring our heart to worship. Yes. Worship is the key. Yes. See, Yahweh dwells in our praise and our worship. Yes, right. he can have it. He lives in it. Yes. I'm telling you. Yes. You can imagine. Yes. I sing and praise it. I worship it with all my heart. Hallelujah. Yahweh is right there. Hallelujah. He is so yes. near. Hallelujah. 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 Some of us need some. See, we need to see some dance. Woo. Be like Thomas. Hallelujah. If we can't see it physically, physically, ain't nothing happen. But his ways is not our ways. No. Just worship. Just worship. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. So whatever the situation is, worship him. Give him all that you got. Worship is a serious thing. Worship is the key. Remember the brother in the tomb? The brother in the tomb. Who had the devil, the demons cutting them up? They used to, yes, that's him. The scriptures say he saw Yeshua and he worshiped him from afar. Even the devil knows what's going on. The devil knows what's going on in Yahweh people walking stiff naked and rebellious. And say, and we say we love him. We say we love him, but we scared. We shame to get down on our knees in the front of people. We scared to tie our white pants, Minister Lloyd. Huh? We go and kneel down and say we are praying, and we gotta grab something and put it on that. Put that there, kneel down on that. <laughs> <laughs> And some of us seen it. Some of us have seen it with our very own eyes. We can't we could talk about we going on our knees to Yahweh and we worry about the day in our one leg. Hallelujah. We gotta get our priority straight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. David, let's talk about David, a man after Yahweh's own heart. David no worship. David no worship. When Yahweh brought him up to the top, you know what he did? He didn't do like Saul. He looked around and he saw that the Ark of the Covenant under the tent, yes. and his heart gave way. He said, What can I bet? What can I render unto Yahweh for all his benefit? Yes. And he has to store upon me. You can imagine lighting him plate in the air. Yahweh have every day. He ruled everything. He created everything. What can I offer him? Tell him, tell him. Hallelujah. Well, he gave me all this and now. I, I used to sleep out in, in, in the field with the sheep and dance, you know. Now I live in palace. Yes. Uh, the ark is beyond in the tent. I think I can build one house. Wow. Man, listen here. I can design that soldier head. I can put everything in that. Worship. Yes. Worship. Yes. Your heart. Yes. Your, you have the desire in your heart yes. to please your creator. Yes. You That's obey. worship. You obey. We yes. need that desire and that yes. hunger in our heart to please our creator. Yes. Please Even though yeah, we tell him, no, you shouldn't tell him. He said, no. just the thought alone was yes, the thought. The thoughts. Yes. I know what is in your heart. Yes, I know it. Your desire to please me. Yes. That, that, that sweet smell is saying, come up to my nostril. Yes. I smell that. Yes. That smells good. Yes, even though you're not perfect, baby. I'm telling you. Yes, yeah. Yes. Worship. Worship. Time to bring our heart back to worship. Yes. yes. No more lip service. Yes. Worship. Yes. When we come into the sanctuary, our hearts have already been prepared. Don't wait to reach to the sanctuary. Become prepared. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. That's Yahweh. Yes. Turn with me to Psalms 18. Thank you. Psalms 18. David, know Yahweh. Yes. 
David know Yahweh. Brother, I'm telling you, see, if if we don't learn through worship, we ain't going to never know him the way that we should. That's right. when David, you know, David being on the run. Now he delivered him from enemies, even Saul. This is what David said. He had a reason to worship. He understand why he should worship. Psalms 18. Yes. Say, I will love thee, O Yahweh, my yes. strength. Yes. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, yes. my Elohim. My strength in whom yes. I will trust, yes. my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. Oh, yes. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death come past me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, hallelujah, this David now, he understand. He said, in my distress, I call upon Yahweh and cry unto my Elohim. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook. Hallelujah, say, the earth shake. You can imagine the earth shaking. We feel like everything over then. <laughs> so then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wrought. Then ran up a smoke out of his nostril and fire out of his mouth, devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. And darkness was under his feet. Yeah. He rolled upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. All the brightness. But that was before him. His thick clouds passed. Hail, stones and coals of fire. Yahweh also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shook and he shot out lightnings and dis discomforted them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke. O Yahweh, at the blast of the of thy of the breath of thy nostril. He sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my enemies. And from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Hallelujah. This someone we should worship. This someone we should worship. If he can do all of this, he can do all of this. David say, in my distress, in my distress, I call upon Yahweh. He heard me out of his temple. My very voice gone into his ears. And the earth was shaking. The shake. <laughs> the earth shakes and the hills and all shaking. Someone. Hallelujah. Yahweh is so awesome, so mighty. Because of our praise. That's right. When we find favor in his eyes, yes. that's the results when we are in distress. Yes. When we are in need, yes. when the wicked are upon us to eat of our flesh, this is the results. I know how to worship. I can call the one who I worship. He is my deliverer. He is my provider. He is my healer. He is my righteousness. He is my everything. Yes. I call unto Yahweh, say, can we step out of yes. heaven, oh. 
all kinds of tongues and lightning was yes. beneath his feet. Hallelujah. He is awesome. Give him praise and glory. Yes. Worship yes. the holy name. Yes. He is worthy. Yes. Yes. He is worthy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. David really know Yahweh. Yes. Yes.
and walking up right before Yahweh, yes. I have to love him with all my heart. I, I have to love yes. my neighbor yes. as myself. Yes. Yes. I have to go by the teachings of the prophet. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Trying to be the voice Veronica. Voice Veronica chapter 16. We're talking about David still, you know. Yes. Yes, he is. He's in the Yes. That's a brother who yes. knows Yahweh. Yes. This was, this brother, this was a no guessing game. Oh. From a youth. Amen. From the days of his youth, he knew how awesome Yahweh was. He knew his creator. He knew his correct creator stand in his defense. Why Yahweh brought the children of Israel 
out of Egypt. Their worship was too polluted. Some, some ways that we worship is unacceptable. We gotta, uh, worship got to be separate. Remember in the laws? When we go back to the law, there are ways that we do. The way we behave, the things we do when we go before our Creator. Yes. If we don't come before Him the way that He desire, or he, as He has commanded, our praise and our worship is unacceptable. unacceptable. Yes. Remember Nadad and Abihu? Yes. They yes. offered strange fire before yes. Yahweh, yes. and Yahweh, the scriptures say, fire came yes. out from Yahweh yes. and devoured them. Yes. That's right. They were new sons. Mm-hmm. We're given a command. Mm-hmm. This is how you ought to come before me. Yes. Yes. And Yahweh. Yahweh wants all our heart. See, when we surrender our lives to our Creator, He gives us all of Himself. We have access to all that He has. You know what our problem is? We don't do what He do. He gives us full access, but we come out stepping. We come out stepping. I figured only just Lego some stuff, tear some teens off. Them baggage, they too heavy. Yes, they, they carry. They wearing us down. Yes. They costing us. They costing us time. If we can get rid of our weight now, we reach in the expressions quicker. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So David says, the beauty of holiness. This is the, this the true way to come before him. Separate them things, man. Get the, this worship got to be different from any other thing you praise and worship. This is different. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Yeah, it's good, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, Yahweh is good. And we can, we can testify that all the time. But we need to behave that way. We say it all the time, but we need to behave that way. We got to act that way. And see, when we become, man, uh, listen here. Yahweh is getting ready to do some stuff. The scripture tells us, says, I sight him to and fro throughout the eye. He will show up. He will show off. I'm telling you. Yes. He will show up in our lives. Yes. He wants people to see who we serve. Yes. Who's in control. Yes. He, wants to do that. he wants to do it. Yes. The problem is we're not positioning ourselves. True worship. True worship. Hallelujah. Look at ourselves. We can't even deny true worship. Hallelujah. <laughs> we can't even do it. Hey, listen, if we go on a job and we have a good suck up, we like that. Uh, someone who can cater to you and I, they sing in your praises. Man, you be in charge, any position going around, they got to get that even though they got to do the job. That's right. Praises go to your head. Praises go to your head, but it's alive. So, in a creator who is righteous, who everything he do is well done. You could imagine, you know what he called it? He called it that sweet smelling savor or a rumor that comes up to his nostril. Hallelujah. I tell you, now is the time. We got to come back to true worship. Our hearts that are come back to true worship. Back to the text we read. Say Yeshua tell us say, but the hour coming and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, we need to understand some stuff. We need to understand some stuff. See, when, when, when Yahshua spoke to this woman, oh boy. when he spoke to this woman, he said, he let her know some stuff, you know. Ain't I nothing for mom? You know what he tell her? He said, woman, you don't know what you worship. He didn't say who. He said, you don't know who you worship. He said, you don't know what you worship. That made him be got some idols in there, some idolatry in there someplace. Somewhere, someplace in there, somehow, idolatry is in there. He said, but we know what we worship. We know we, we know what we worship. We know who we worship. Hallelujah. We know who we worship. That's what I said, but the hour of coming. And now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. Hallelujah. Look at that word in the front of worshipper. True worshipper. True worshipper. See, this ain't no pretending game. No time to pretend. True worship. He wants a heart in it. He wants us to block everything else out. It's all about Him. It's all about Him. If we believe who He says that He is, if we believe He can do the things that He said He has done and He can do, our heart should be prepared for true worship. True worship. Because the Father seek it such to worship. See, Yahweh getting ready to do some stuff. This is being a prepared people. Prophet, this is a minister Riley. This is a prepared people. A people who know how to worship. And I ain't talking about just falling on our knees and worshiping thing when we get something or when somebody do something for us. I'm talking about. Don't we slay me yet will I trust him? Yes. In good times. In bad times. Hallelujah. In bad times. That's when I take it to the next level. Because why? I know who I am crying to. I know who understands all my trouble. I know who sees into my heart. I know, Father, He loves me. And He doesn't want me to perish. And He promised that He would never leave nor forsake me. So, Prophet, I gotta worship Him. I gotta worship Him. Because when the enemy out upon me to eat up my flesh, I am not even aware of it. But they stumble and fall. For Yahweh, my Elohim, yes. is with me. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.